Engineering tests. Engineering tests are the main part of equipment development that carries out various tests to see if prototypes meet the performance requirements. Type 16 Mobile Combat Vehicle The Type 16 Mobile Combat Vehicle, or MCV, has been developed in order to leverage its superior mobility and air transportability, while its large caliber gun is able to defeat armoured fighting vehicles as well as personnel. GSRC has carried out technological tests to confirm this vehicle's stability and fire control. Through these tests, the Type 16 Mobile Combat Vehicle developed in 2016 achieved high mobility to run on highways, transportability to be loaded on cargo planes, and is a combat vehicle equipped with a powerful gun. Their continual deployment in the ground self-defense force units will secure the safety of Japan. Type 19 155mm self-propelled howitzer wheeled. This howitzer has been developed in order to quickly move over a wide area in a variety of circumstances, while also engaging enemy troops by wielding firepower from a long distance. The engineering tests included firing tests in Japan and in the US, on and off road mobility tests, and transportability tests using ships and aircraft. Through these tests, Type 19 155mm self-propelled howitzers wheeled, developed in 2019, are scheduled for continual deployment in ground self-defense force units in order to boost firepower for field artillery units. This will be achieved through the howitzers improved firepower operating capability to strategically maneuver at high speed and swiftly fire in diverse situations, including offshore islands defense. Technology. Research on electromagnetic acceleration systems. Conventional guns rely on combustion gas from gunpowder to accelerate a projectile. But this research is being carried out on the railgun, which utilizes an electromagnetic force to accelerate a projectile. By using a massive current in excess of 2 mega ampere, railguns in theory are capable of accelerating a projectile weighing 10 kilograms or more to a velocity of over 2,000 meters per second. The aim is to massively boost the range of the projectile and its accuracy compared to conventional guns. Test facilities are indispensable in carrying out such research and development. The GSRC has advanced test facilities to carry out research and development on reliable and superior equipment and to test their performance. Power Simulator for Vehicle Powertrains this facility is used to evaluate powertrains of ground vehicles by applying resistance to the powertrains, including the engine, corresponding to the ground surface profile and the vehicle travelling states. Powder gun and two-stage light gas gun. These guns simulate firing of ultra-high-speed projectiles and the guns are used to test ballistic properties of various materials under high strain rates and pressures. Fuse Impact Simulator By using high pressure gas to fire a projectile or similar object, this device simulates various extreme impact environments experienced by projectiles. Vehicle Static Characteristic Test Bench 
The test bench is used to measure vehicle static characteristics, such as weight, center of gravity, and maximum safe incline angle. Off-road simulator for tracked and wheeled vehicles. The off-road simulator for tracked and wheeled vehicles evaluates dynamic responses of chassis and turrets by vibrating vehicles actively. Environmental testing chamber. This facility is a chamber to evaluate ground vehicles and other equipment under a high or low temperature environment and a humidity environment. Mine Detection Test Facility. This facility evaluates mine detection systems tested under constant soil conditions. Supersonic Wind Tunnel. Continuous operation wind tunnel testing measures the aerodynamic forces acting on flying projectiles in the early stages of designing artillery shells. GSRC has numerous facilities that are only found here in Japan and they have become indispensable to the research and development of defense equipment. Historic Science